Okay, here's a quick video on how I'm doing the sheath's foot on the painting aspect of it. Um, I'm not endorsing any specific product paint. I mean, everybody always has a different idea on what, uh, what to use. This is uh, just two coat. I just want something that's going to cover real good. Try to get something cheap as well. You don't want to spend a whole bunch of money, but um, I kind of came up with this pattern I cut out of my vinyl. And uh, you basically just kind of lay it down there and then you just keep moving it around. Um, you work from the center point of your turn and you come out and you're just going to basically paint paint a path that's about two to three inches wide. And you basically just kind of come back and give it a quick coat. And it's almost, you're putting it down so fine, it's almost drying as fast as you're putting it down. And then you're going to pick your pattern up here. I'm going to get this laser cut out of Fiscus. I believe is what it's called for like airbrushing. It's uh, it's like a kind of somewhat rigid, kind of thinner, thinner plastic. But I'm just kind of going through spotting, move pattern back up and in. Now again, work from the center out in the angle because if you do it too wide too much, what actually ends up happening is the the shoe's foot, because it's kind of one big square, the shoe's foot has got funky angles on it and it doesn't look like it It was pulled behind a, uh, a tractor, some sort of tow vehicle. To follow the radius of the corners, it'll be very blocky and square. And there's no rhyme or reason to doing this. I mean, it's shoe's foot, they go over. Well, around here they're doing it, she's put the hell out of the track, so. Just kind of randomly moving around, trying not to be in the same spot. Change the angle just a little bit, move it just a little bit. Like I said, I'm only trying to do, you know, two to four inch pass at a time, and then just kind of moving the she's put around. Some of it, it gets to the point where it almost looks like it's kind of, because the blocks are somewhat tight, it doesn't look like it in the pattern, but um, they look blurry almost. But that's fine, there's no set real, on a sheep's foot track, it's got a million divot holes in it, so you want to make sure that you don't go too close to the edge, you have an overspray, you'll have a real sharp, real sharp edge. Make sure you're going in far enough to get that inside deal there. This is part of the reason why I want to do a frisket so this doesn't happen to you. Like a rigid flat piece of plastic, the vinyl just kind of tends to stick to itself, especially when it's all full of paint. The other thing is, you're going to get some paint build up on there. You can take it in theory. Like I said, once I, once I get the Get it laser cut onto a piece of plastic, it'll be really easy. Just solve it, dip it, and the solvent will take the excess paint off there. Right now, you can just take a piece of uh, newspaper and just kind of dab it in there. It's an old painter's trick. If you happen to get a run, just take the paper and kind of just bow it and then just kind of roll through there, and it'll actually suck up that extra paint without really kind of messing it. The paint job up, and you don't have to completely come back and scratch. You know, the, the closer you hold it, the track, the darker the, the more paint you're going to put down, and the darker it's going to be. Like I said, you can tell I'm, there's no real rhyme or reason to what I'm doing here. It's just kind of random, random patterns. Like I said, you want to just keep moving it so that it's the lines are kind of following the. Uh, the radius of the turn. And that's pretty much about it. You get a little spurt there, it's off by a little bit. The tractor may uh, tow a vehicle might have got a little crazy going through the section there. So it's gonna pound down in the ground and she's put a little bit harder than others, it'll be more predominant. Than in other spots. Well, that pretty much 
just trying to do a real quick tutorial here for you. Give you kind of a little bit better view. I don't know if it's if it's really showing up real good on the track in the videos. Like I said, if you get if you get too much and the line gets to be too predominant, you can come back and kind of fuzz it out. But that's pretty much how I'm doing this this technique that I'm doing right now. It looks pretty cool. I think it'll really add uh, add a bunch of character to the track once it you know the whole track gets fully assembled and everything, and and you get the infield in there. It'll it'll blur it out. Your 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 eye will be kind of all over everything. But it just adds a really nice, cool detail to the track. Super simple, super easy. You can pick up a can of spray paint. I'm doing a six by uh, six by twelve track right now. I'm gonna have just over one can. It, you know three dollars and sixty cents or something like that so it's a pretty cool effect if you happen to have copper tape or braid down already on the track um, it's usually the width is three quarters of an inch you can get three quarter inch wide uh, masking tape to lay over the top of it before you actually go through and, and uh, do this technique so that's I mean it's something that you can kind of cover up what you got add to it um, I think eventually it'll kind of wear off uh, just because it's kind of a top coat type deal unless you put like a like some sort of clear or uh, some sort of additional finish over the top of it.